Tonight, dozens of batteries snatched out of a parked semi overnight. According to IMPD, the suspects targeted a lot near Kentucky and Raymond Street. News 8's Julian Grace live tonight to explain why this crime took an expert. Well, Mike, let's be very clear. The suspects didn't just rip a battery out of a family sedan. They tore up compartments, ripped up cables, and left one big mess. It's a stretch of road where semis line the parking lots, and that may have attracted thieves. Someone used the wee hours to cut through a fence, drive onto property, and rip out batteries here. And they did it again a couple of blocks right here. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, it's not just that. This better is a charge more. I mean, it's more money than that. Not just a hundred dollars. It's like buy it like three, four hundred dollars. All depends on the battery. Mr. Victor has been driving trucks for 20 years, and this is the first time he's heard about this. But it's not the first time we've seen it. Back in 2016, we were there as Harbor Bridge tried to recover after a person caught on camera took their time and ripped out batteries from their semi trucks. When Bob came in Monday morning to get the truck started, they wouldn't start. That brings us to today. Police want to know who is behind this pickup truck with batteries in the bed of the truck. Hopefully, they get what they deserve because it's not it's not fair for a driver. So we're taking the batteries. No one at the business has wanted to talk publicly, but what is clear is that the stranded semis not only impacted the driver, but possibly the ability for the drivers to get paid. That's horrible. I mean, for a trucker, us as truckers, you know, selling our batteries is like taking bread out of mouths because they're expensive. Now we are learning those batteries go for about $150 a piece, but on the streets, they're, they sell for about 25 bucks. So where exactly are those batteries going? That's the question we will try to answer all new at 11 o'clock. For now, reporting live in downtown Indy, Julian Grace, Wish TV, News 8.